The Economic Affairs Ministry is leading the national consultative process. The National Consultative Council is expected to contribute to a shared vision and national development plan to transform St. Lucia's economic and social landscape over the next decade. It will also address poverty alleviation through the creation of sustainable livelihoods. Through the Council, the opportunity exists to make consultation truly meaningful and, in this regard, the Council has been charged with responsibility for deliberating on subjects and issues that are of national significance. And the Council will be expected to make specific recommendations as to the policies and programs to be adopted by government. Prime Minister Stevenson King says the Council aims to involve all sectors in national development. The problems of crime, the problems of unemployment, particularly among the youth, in discipline at all levels, the challenges of educating our people, of addressing the various issues related to health care, and the challenges of providing economic opportunities for our population in a world where the dynamics have changed and where we now must, more than ever, find creative solutions to these challenges. The chairman of the 24-member NCC is Bernard Thibbles. He says the NCC will address all major issues affecting locals. Poverty, youth unemployment, the inexorable increase in oil prices and the effect on everything we do or buy, the new challenges in the, in the new economic environment, virtually everything you can consider. The national consultative process will begin soon. A national development strategy will be discussed publicly through a series of town hall meetings in communities throughout the island. St. Lucia's first consultative council was established in the 1980s. Alison Kentish, HDS News, Channel 4.